Welcome back, everybody. In the kitchen with Lindsay Brooks from Runaway Spoon. Mm -hmm. uh, and she is a, a caterer, does a, a catering for all sorts of different uh, parties. A pastry chef, she's known for her desserts and now started a kind of a new thing where you can actually um, order dinner for two and they will deliver it to your home. So it's a nice special date night. They do that on Wednesday. So you can go to our website, find out more about that. But I'm really interested in this recipe we're doing. I've never heard of roasting strawberries. Yeah, so this is my roasted strawberry uh, trifle. Um, and what you want to do is find those really fresh strawberries that already have a good base to them, but let's let's step it up a little bit. Let's get a little more flavor to them. So you want to roast them. Um, and they just kind of makes the house smell amazing, first of all. And then also just kind of just caramelizes those natural sugars in there and just brings out that flavor. And then what we're doing is when we put them with the whipped cream and the, and the pound cake, it kind of just mushes them a little bit and the texture is just fantastic. And all the juice kind of squirts out while you're eating them. So You know, and I have to be honest, the, the strawberries at the grocery store, I mean, these are the, they're the biggest I've ever seen them. I that Those are usually like specialty strawberries that you'd have to order. They're huge. Right, oh. right. And they actually start, are starting to taste like a strawberry rather than the middle of winter where they're kind of right, not so that right, much there. Yeah. Right. I mean, and, and of course, when they're fresh, you know, when you pick them, they're even better. But some of the big ones don't have quite as much flavor, so I love the idea of roasting them. I'm going to give you a casserole dish, and while I get to work on beating the cream, right. uh, you could show everybody, you know, basically how to roast strawberries. So, right. oh, you've already got a dish there, but here's another one. Just Any roasting dish will work. Um, I usually use glass or ceramic rather than a metal pan just so that. Um, it can clean up a little bit easier. Okay, but, and I've um, got, a, should I beat all this cream? Yep, you're going to put in the container of mascarpone, powdered sugar, and uh, vanilla with uh, half of that. Okay, and this is the, our Lamer's Heavy Cream, so oh. half of a pint. Which of, is fantastic, okay. wonderful, and, and really rich all on its own. But then we add a few more things to it. Okay, so just, just half of the half a half pint, of it. Actually. Yep, okay. so about a half a cup or so. Okay. In with powdered sugar, mm -hmm. mascarpone, uh, mascarpone cheese, which uh, for people, it's becoming very uh, easy to find um, and people are becoming more and familiar with it. This is the stuff that they make tiramisu with, but you can do lots of other things with it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, describe to people what it is. It's Italian's version of cream cheese, um, is the best way I'd say it. It's a really great consistency. It's kind of spreadable right out of the refrigerator, which is nice. And it just has a lot of natural sweetness to it and just kind of rich full body to it. It's lovely. I mean, in Italy, I know they just put it on toast with a little bit of you know, <laughs> cinnamon sugar. Yep. So the entire container goes in here? Yep. Okay. And you'll find it right at the grocery store, normally near like the specialty cheese section of the grocery store. So look around for it or ask. They'll show you where it it's is. It's worth it. And even yeah. if you um, aren't sure what to do with it, pick one up and just play around with it. Um, put it on your bagels in the morning and you'll just kind of get it something a little bit different in sure. your routine. Sure, sure. We need to mix that together. That's going to eventually become a nice kind of whipped cream, but, but even better than that. Okay. The strawberries, I just kind of roughly cut up, and you're going to sprinkle just a little bit of sugar over your roasting dish. And then these need to go into a 400 degree oven. So and high heat. Higher, yes. Okay. And they take about a half an hour. Um, so they actually get a little brown. The, the sugar start to break down a little bit. This is going to be an example of what they look like once they come out. So you can see that they, they look a little softened. They've got a little bit of juice in the bottom of the pan. It's also a little brown on the outside to kind of caramelize some of those flavors. Um, but they're still somewhat intact, which is good. And yeah, the, the juice, it almost looks like a syrup, if you can see that. It's perfect, absolutely. Yeah. And those are just the sugars that have caramelized together there in that pan. So Question. Um, yeah. Can you make this ahead? So if you're having people over and you don't want to deal with you know, day of. Is this a, a night before, day yep, before? Yeah, one or two days is great. Okay, um, keep in the fridge? Yep. Okay. Any leftover strawberries, put them on your ice cream the next day. Okay. I mean, they're, yeah. it's really a nice way to, to accent it. Is this about the consistency we're looking for? Oh, more? that's perfect. No, that's okay. absolutely perfect. Okay. So it almost looks like a just cream cheese almost yep. Yep. up. And then, um, for the rest of that I put online, I just said your favorite pound cake, angel food cake. In the kitchen, we always make um, kind of our jelly roll pans full of them, and then we cut them to whatever we need them for. So this is a section of our uh, chiffon cake that we make, which is like an angel food cake, but it's got a little bit more flavor to it. Um, so what I normally do is I'll cut out what I need for these. So okay. one of the trendy things you'll see now is go to um, you know an antique store or a secondhand store and buy little glasses. They don't all have to match just as long as they're in the same style or motif, you know. So um, in our kitchen, we have a lot of 70s glasses that are all different shapes and, and fun things that we can serve appetizers or desserts in. Cool. And then I'm just going to stamp out little bottoms, if you will, to the cake. 
And if it was me, I'd just cut up little pieces of pound cake that you can buy Sara Lee pound cake yep. right there. Yep. Uh, to, but you know, so th this is more of a method. Right. If you're if you're spending a little extra time in the kitchen, you know, make some of your own cake, stamp it out. But if you're just in a hurry, the idea will come together really okay. fast for you. Okay. Well, we're gonna take a scoop of this uh, wonderful strawberries. That again, roast it off and let them cool. So don't do it warm. Make sure that those are nice and cool. Right. And, you know, you get a little of that nice juice in there. Ooh. Smells. It's so. Why is strawberries in that juice? They just smell like summer. Right. It does. So this is like. Strawberry shortcake to a whole another level. Exactly. And now we're going to take that mascarpone cream, Amy, if you want, and just put a scoop in there. And I normally do at least two layers when I make my trifles. About that big of a scoop? That looks good. And that is a great tip to get that meat in the jar, in whatever container you're doing this. Very much on trend also are using very uh, clean canning jars to, to present desserts. Absolutely. You know, get them the little smaller ones. and. And to get it in there nice and neat, these little miniature scoops work fantastic. Yep. You know, a piping bag can be tricky for some people to try to pipe in there. The ice cream scooper, I think, is a really and it looks great pretty. second uh, option. So, again, I'm putting another piece of cake on here. And we'll just do a scoop of strawberries on there. Pretty, pretty. And this, can you make this ahead, like the desserts ahead too? Yep, so you can do this, you can eat them right away or they can stay in your fridge up to two days. Okay. And if I'm traveling with these, let's say I was going to go to someone's picnic or something, mm -hmm. I'll put these in um, either a disposable shot glass so they're smaller and bring them that way, or in a little uh, flat cup, a disposable cup. That way they can transfer a lot easier because sometimes when you're driving these sure. might tip over, but sure. a nice flat cup. And and a little, do we want a little more of this on top? Oh too? yeah, a little more of that on top. Oh, Lindsay, thank you so much. You're welcome. What great ideas. We'll put the recipe for the roasted strawberries and this trifle on our website. Stay with us. We'll be back. <laughs>